The next question is from Jabir Haruna from Nigeria. I am a police officer. Is it allowed for a public officer to accept gratification and gifts from public which one does not demand for? Another question from Anonymous India but living in Dubai. If anyone accepts bribe for some years and he then repents and makes toba, how can he refund or compensate as he has collected money from too many people by doing fraud? Brother Jabir has asked a question that if he gets gratification or without demanding some gifts as a police officer, then is it accepted or not? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned Sahih Bukhari, volume number 9, hadith number 6979, that the Prophet told one of the persons to go and collect zakat. So when he comes back, he tells the Prophet, this is your money of zakat and this is the gift I received. The Prophet replies that will you go and sit at the home of your father and the home of your mother and do you think you'll get these gifts? And the Prophet gets very angry. And immediately when he's addressing the people, he tells, Oh my people, I had appointed one of you to do an important task for me which Allah had entrusted on me, referring to collection of zakat. That person comes and gives me and says, this is the zakat money which is for you and this is the gift I received. I told him that will you go and sit at the house of your father and the house of your mother and do you think you'll get these gifts? Then the Prophet says that, O oh people, you do not take a single unlawful thing. Otherwise, you will carry that with you on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet said, do not take any single thing unlawful. Otherwise, you will carry that thing with you on the Day of Judgment to Allah. And the Prophet said, I do not want any of you to be seen carrying a camel which is grunting or a cow which is mooing or a sheep which is bleating. That means the Prophet has prohibited anyone from taking anything extra and unlawful. It's further mentioned in the hadith of Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number 3, hadith number 2943, that the Prophet said that the person who we employ for administrative work and when we give him provision, if he takes anything besides that, it is gulul, meaning embezzlement, meaning fraud, meaning bribery. It's further mentioned in the hadith of Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number 3, hadith number 2945, that the Prophet said that if we employ anyone for administrative work, and if he comes with his wife, if he doesn't have a servant, he may have a servant. If he doesn't have a dwelling, he may have a dwelling. And Abu Bakr, he continues, that the Prophet said that anything above this is treachery and theft. It's further mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, hadith number 23601, that the beloved Prophet said that anything received by employee of the government, it is hulul, embezzlement, it is treachery. From all these hadith, we come to know that any employee of the government or provided by the government or as for that matter, any company besides the salary what he gets and besides the perk what he gets, anything else he received from anyone outside, it is equal to bribery, it is equal to gulul, it is equal to embezzlement. That means any government servant in any country today, Muslim country, or any other country, if he receives anything besides the salary and the perk, which is mentioned in the contract, anything above, it may be, you know, we call in India chai pani, in Pakistan chai pani, meaning water and tea. Some people say sweets. Some people say oiling of the palm or greasing of the palm. Some people say under the table, all these things, gifts, any gift, 
direct or indirect, besides the salary and the perks that has been given officially in the contract, anything above that is bribery. So as far as the first question is concerned, asked by the brother in Nigeria, if you are a police officer or working at any post of the government, besides your salary and the perks that is given by the government, anything else is counted as bribery. As for matter of fact, if a person is working on a high post or any post in a private company as a manager of the company, he's getting his salary, he's getting his perks, he's getting his allowance. Above that, if any of the clients give him any gift, a watch or anything else, this is counted as bribery according to the beloved Prophet Muhammad It is counted as gulul, embezzlement. Regarding the second question, a similar question that is asked by Anonymous India that if anyone accepts bribe for some years and he repents and makes toba, how can he refund or compensate as he has collected money from too many people by doing this fraud? And as you know that bribery is the 32nd major sin in the book of Al-Qabair by Imam al dhabi Amongst the major sins, Imam al dhabi lists bribery as number 32. It's mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 188 that use not your wealth as bait for judges in order to eat other people's wealth. It's mentioned in Jamit Tirmidhi, hadith number 1337 that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that anyone who gives bribe or anyone who takes bribe, Allah's messenger has cursed them. So bribing is a major sin. If someone now wants to repent and do toba, what can he do? For doing toba, there are five requirements. Number one, he should agree what he's doing is wrong. Number two, he should stop it immediately. Number three, he should repent and ask for forgiveness. Number four, he should not do it again. And number five, if possible, he should undo it. For example, if you have taken bribery from many people, if you can remember the amount or the name of the person, and if you can give back, that's the best. If you do not remember, if you have taken too much, then follow the first four things at least, that agree it is wrong, stop it, ask for forgiveness, don't do it again, and what you can do is you can give charity. What you think you have collected in all these years, give that in charity to the poor people, ask for forgiveness, inshallah, Allah will forgive you.